my family, I recall something that William said just a couple of years ago after the Oprah interview with Harry and Meghan. My family, here is what William said. You know, you see hear this. Sir, have you, broke, have you spoken to your brother since the interview? <laughs> no, I haven't spoken yet, but I will do. And, and can you just let me know, is the, the royal family a racist family, sir? Yeah, we're very much not a racist family. Prince William's words, we are very much not a racist family. However, when Meghan married into the royal family, they could not find it inside of themselves just to treat her well, to protect Meghan from the abusive, intrusive UK tabloid press. The first person of color to marry to the royal family has been hounded out of the royal family with constant attacks, abuse. Jeremy Clarkson wrote that vile column about Meghan and yet, not a single member of the royal family condemned that vile column about Meghan, a woman of color. Not a single member of the royal family. And right now, it is being revealed. My family. The royal family has been dragged into the N-word race row after dozens of References to the offensive term were found in official documents. A catalog published by the Royal Collection Trust, RCT, showcasing a selection of gems and jewels owned by the Royal Collection, contained more than 40 mentions of offensive racial terms. My family, don't forget that some of the catalog of jewelry that members of the royal family have were stolen from African countries like South Africa. Some of the jewelry they have were stolen from India. So my family, it is not surprising that in official documents it has been discovered. You know? that the n-word has been used quite a large number of times please clearly hear this my family a catalog published by the royal collection trust rct showcasing a selection of gems and jewels owned by the royal collection contained more than 40 mentions of offensive racial terms. The document titled Ancient and Modern Gems and Jewels was published by Royal Collection Enterprise Limited in 2008. It has remained on its website since then and was only removed on Thursday after it was flagged by a UK publication called the independent my family called the independent my family only removed on thursday you can't tell me that all these years they have not seen the n-word you know on their website you can't tell me all these years they haven't seen that they have my family, they have. And you know, my family, this proves even more about the racism that Megan endured inside the royal family. It shows why Charles and William were so, so angry that Harry had issued a statement condemning racism against his then girlfriend, Megan. My family, it explains why Charles and William were so angry at Prince Harry. You know? Because my family, in Harry's memoir spear, Harry tells us that Charles and William were not pleased when they found out that Harry had issued a statement condemning racism 
against the then Gulf of Megan. My family, now that we are discussing this, let me read you what Harry said in his memo spare. After he wrote a statement asking UK media to back off of Megan. Please hear what Harry said. And I quote, By the time that Megan landed at Heathrow, my statement was everywhere and changing nothing. The onslaught and the attacks continued. In fact, my statement generated a whole new onslaught from my family. Pa and Willie were furious. They gave me an earful. My statement made them look bad, they both said. Why in hell? My family, in that statement, Harry was condemning the racism towards Megan. That is what Harry was doing. You know, he was condemning the racism towards his then girlfriend Megan. That's all he was doing, my family. But even that, the palace did not like my family. And also, the tabloids did not like that Harry was defending his then girlfriend Megan. And my family, let me read you some parts of that letter kindly, of what Harry said. That got William and Charles so, so angry, my family. Here is what Harry said. And I quote, Since Harry was young, Prince Harry has been very aware of the warmth that has been extended to him by members of the public. He feels lucky to have so many people supporting him and knows what a fortunate and privileged life that he leads. He, Harry, is also aware that there is significant curiosity about his private life. He has never ever been comfortable with this, but he has tried to develop a thick skin about the level of media intrusion interest that comes with it. He has rarely taken formal action on the very regular publication of fictional stories that are written about him and he has worked hard to develop a professional relationship with the media focused on his work and the issues he cares about. But the past week has seen a line crossed. His girlfriend, Meghan Markle, has been subjected to a wave of abuse, to a wave of abuse and harassment. Some of this have been very, very public. The smear on the front page of a national newspaper. The racial anatons of comment pieces and the outright sexism and racism of social media trolls and web article comments. Some of it have been hidden from the public. The nightly legal battles to keep defamatory stories out of papers. Her mother having to struggle past photographers in order to get to her front door. The attempts of reporters and photographers to gain illegal entry to a home and the calls to police that followed. The bribes offered by papers to her ex-boyfriend. The bombardment of nearly every friend, co-worker and loved one in her life. Prince Harry is worried about Miss Markle's safety and is deeply disappointed that he has not been able to protect her. It is not right that a few months into a relationship with him, that Miss Markle should be subjected to such a storm. He knows commentators will say this is the price she has to pay and that this is all part of the game. He strongly disagrees. This is not a game. It's her life and his. He has asked for this statement to be issued in the hopes that those in the press who have been driving this story can pause and reflect before any further damage is done. He knows that it is unusual to issue a statement like this, but hopes that fair-minded people will understand why he has felt it necessary to speak publicly. 
my family, we are fair minded people. The tabloids are not. And I've never ever been. My family, after that statement, you know, Charles and William were angry. And here is why they say they were angry. And I quote, because they never put out a statement for their girlfriends or wives when they were being harassed. First of all, King Charles made deals with the press. So Camilla can be protected, can get good press, my family. He gave stories, leaked stories about Harry and William to get good press for Camilla and also for himself. That was the deal that Charles made. Charles would give access to the media, you know, some photos of his sons, Harry and William. In exchange, he gets good press. In exchange, the tabloid media begin writing positive articles about Camilla Parker Bowles. And they did. And they did. He sold out his own son. That's what Charles did, my family. But yet here he is being angry, saying that, you know, we have never ever put out a statement, you know, to stop the harassment of their former girlfriends or wives. My family, if someone does something good, you applaud that person. You say, you're doing the right thing. And Harry did the right thing. But clearly, in the royal family, doing the right thing is not what you're supposed to do. Doing the right thing is not what you are supposed to do. So my family, I'm very happy that Harry issued that statement condemning the attacks towards his then girlfriend, Megan. My family, please also let me continue with what was in my family on this N-word used, you know, in royal documents, my family, in official documents. Please kindly continue hearing this. Now, my family, and I quote, the latest discovery comes after it was revealed that an offensive racial slur was included also in government documents. The term was included in a report by the Met Office as well as in the Department for Work and Pensions guidance used by doctors to assess benefit claims. The slur had also been visible in the comment section of a page on the government's own website since 2015. The revelations prompted Rishi Sunak, official spokesperson, to denounce the word as inappropriate and offensive. But the royal family, silence. In the latest instance, the offensive terms are mostly used to describe people of African ancestry who appear on the jewels. The words are also included in a number of names of items in the collection. One brooch is described in the following terms. And I quote, head over N-word. In three-quarter profile to the right, with the drop pearl earring. This type of a N-word head is found on several 16th century cameos. Another item depicting a white person is accompanied by this description and slur. Although it uses the dark layers of the stone for the profile, the features are not, you know, N-word. An RCT spokesperson said the trust documents were continually under review. The RCT is one of the five departments of the royal household and is responsible for the care of the royal collection. The largest private art collection in the world held in trust by the king on behalf of the nation. It sells tickets for tours on the king's official homes. Buckingham Palace, his office, Windsor Castle and the Palace of Holyrood House in Edinburgh. My family. And they'll tell you 
that Meghan experienced no racism in the UK. That's what William will say. What racism? We are very much not a racist family. My family, the race that Meghan endured even came from palace staff. My family, the racism that Meghan endured even came from racist staff themselves. And my family, clearly, based on what I've read my family about this, the documents clearly, you know, were acquired from the RCT, which were acquired from the RCT, you know, which is one of the five departments of the royal household, my family, and is responsible for the care of the royal collection. So my family, I recall a story whereby, you know, Megan, in her atmosphere, was denied access to the royal collection of my family. Megan was denied access to the royal collection. No? By someone called Angela. At the time, we were told that Prince William and Angela had conspired together to keep Megan from accessing royal jewels. That is what we were told at the time. In Harry's memoir, Harry says that it is Angela Kelly. You know, he mentions Angela Kelly as being, you know, difficult. You know, and my family, I want to read you Harry's memoir spare on what Harry said. You know, my family, here is what Harry said in his memoir spare about that incident where someone, a palace staff called Angela Kelly, was basically being difficult. Refusing Meghan access to the tiara. And yet the Queen was okay with it. At the time, also remember, we were told Prince William and Angela had conspired to keep Meghan from accessing the royal jewels. In her memoir, he only mentions Angela Kelly. Please kindly hear this, what Harry said in his memoir spare. Extraordinary morning. We walked into Granny's private dressing room. Right next to a bedroom. A space i never ever been in. Along with Granny was a jewelry expert. An eminent historian who knew the lineage of each stone in the royal collection of my family. Remember, it is this department whereby those, you know, inward references have been caught. Also present was Granny's dresser. And confident Angela. Five tiaras were arrayed on a table, and Granny directed Megan to try on each one before full length mirror. I stood behind watching. One was all emeralds, one was aquamarines. Each was more dazzlingly stunning than the last. Each took my breath. I wasn't the only one. Granny said to Meg quite tenderly, Tiara suit you. Meg melted. Thank you, ma'am. One of the five, however, stood out. Everyone agreed it was beautiful. Seemingly made for Megan. Granny said it would be placed in a safe directly and she looked forward to seeing it on Megan's head come the big day. Make sure, she added, that you practice putting it on with your hairdresser. It's tricky and you don't want to be doing it for the first time on the wedding day. We left the palace feeling awed and loved and grateful. A week later, we contacted Angela and asked her to please send us the chosen tiara. So we could practice putting it on. we done research. And we'd spoken to Kate about our own experience. And we'd learned that Granny's warning was put on. The placing of the tiara was an intricate, elaborate process. It had to be first sewn to the veil. The next hairdresser would need to fix it to a small plate 
in our hair. Complicated, time-consuming. We need at least one dress rehearsal. And for some reason, however, Angela did not respond to any of our messages. We kept trying, no response. When we finally reached her, she said the tiara would require an orderly and a police escort to leave the palace. That sounded a bit much, but all right, I said, if that's protocol, let's find an orderly and a police officer and get the ball rolling. Time was running out. Inexplicably, she replied, can't be done. Why can't it? Her schedule was too busy. She was being obstructive, obviously, but for what reason? We could not even hazard a guess. I considered going to Granny, but that probably mean sparking an all-out confrontation, and I wasn't quite sure with whom Granny would side. Also, to my mind, Angela was a troublemaker, and I did not need her as an enemy. Above all, she was still in possession of that tiara. She held all the cards. My family. And once again, as you have heard, my family, you know, the Royal Coalition Trust, RCT, Royal Coalition Trust, RCT, you know, is one of five departments of the Royal Household and is responsible for the care of the Royal Coalition of my family. You know, so my family, clearly, no wonder they were being so, so difficult with Megan even my family. No wonder they were being so, so difficult, you know, towards Megan. They could not stand that Harry chose a biracial woman of color to be his wife. And that she was the one who was going to wear that tiara. They could not stand that even for a second. And that is very, very much crystal clear, my family. You know? And my family, it's so, so bad, really, just to keep on learning what, you know, Megan and Harry have been through in their own family. The struggles they endured. All because they love each other. You know? And my family, those struggles have made Harry and Megan stronger as a couple. And my family, they have been through it all. So much pain, suffering. And it has the media and also palace staff themselves. And also senior members of the royal family. Don't forget at the time we were told, Prince William and Angela Kelly were being difficult. Very difficult, my family. And that William had told Angela to ensure that Megan did not have any access to that royal collection. My family, you know, perhaps Harry did not know at the time why she was being so obstructive. But my family, clearly, from the UK media, who William always leaks to. William was the one behind that, in my personal opinion, 100% my family. It was being difficult while Harry and Meghan were planning their wedding, just days before Harry and Meghan's wedding. William was telling Harry, I'll shave your beard off by force. Kate was making Meghan cry. Kate was making Meghan cry before Meghan's wedding. You know, the amount of pain they caused Harry and Meghan is just really, really immense. And I'm just so thankful that Harry and Meghan play the UK and that they live in the US with their kids, my family. You know, I'm happy about that. And my family, after what Harry and Meghan have been through, even seeing the media, constantly believing that somehow Harry is going to come back, my family... After what they put them through, they still think that somehow the victims of their abuse will come back. It just ain't going to happen. It just is not going to happen. No one, after what, you know, they've gone through, like what Megan have gone through, will ever return to an abusive environment, will ever return to captivity and begging William for money. Never, 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 my family. Never, you know, never. My family, 
allow me also to read you what Keza said about the entire story of my family. He said this, again, this was 2008, not 1898. Everyone knew that in 2008, that it was wrong to use these words so freely in a catalog for the Royal Collection Trust. It's also kind of bonkers that these documents were just sitting there, waiting to be found in 2023. They were not hidden away until the Independent pointed it out. So no, the Windsors were not dragged into a race row. The Windsors are perfectly fine with this kind of language and they don't care who knows it. My family, no true words have ever, ever been spoken. My family, we do know the Royal family are mostly right-wing leaning. Majority of the UK tablets are right-wing leaning. And my family, what do you think about right-wing? It's about bigotry, racism, hate. You know, the fight against woke. And woke means, you know, to fight against injustices such as racism. However, you have right-wing media owned by the Maddox and North Bears saying that woke is bad. Don't be woke. Don't fight against injustices such as racism. That's what they are sending. And their own family are exactly just like that. And no wonder clearly they don't have a problem with this kind of language being used in their official documents they don't have a problem with it even one bit. And my family is because the tablet media are okay with it themselves. It's because the UK tablet press are racist to the core and they know it. And so they don't have any problem, you know, with this kind of, you know, vile language being used, vile words being used. The Windsors are perfectly fine with racism and using pool of color as diversity props. They are perfectly fine with wearing stolen and little jewelry. And they are fine also with their collection of jewels, with their collection of jewels described in such colorful language. My family indeed, very true, 100%. My family, it's high time that this racist language, it ends my family. And the royal family must apologize for the pain they've caused Megan. For the racism that Megan endured in the royal family. My family, it's high time, the royal family, William, Kate, Charles, Camilla, they say sorry to Megan for the pain they've caused her. Megan is a woman who before she met Prince Harry, no one ever said one bad word about Megan. She meets Harry, smear campaign begins. She gets attacked, abused, bullied, insulted. And my family, they've done that with the hopes it drives her away from Prince Harry. And my family, it's never ever worked. Megan is stuck by her husband's side because she loves Harry. And she married Harry for love. My family. And no wonder. Those hateful tablets. Full of so much racism. And the royal family themselves. Have tried so hard to break Harry Meghan's marriage. To destroy Harry Meghan's relationship. And my family. They have always failed. And they never ever succeed. In destroying Harry Meghan's relationship. My family. Now tell me your thoughts about. You know. This news about basically the N word being used in official documents in the royal household. I like to hear your opinion on that, my family. You know, allow me to read some comments on this, please, my family. You know, someone said that dragged in response to the independent article saying that now royal family are dragged into N word race row. Someone said dragged. Seem more like the royals are swimming in it. 
like a pig in slop. My family indeed, very true, 100%. I'll also never forget what that Dan Wooten wrote in his article, that somehow members of the family should be whiter than white. And then he goes on TV and says, what racism did Megan experience? Utter hypocrisy. Utter hypocrisy of the highest order, my family. The royal family are very, very racist, and that is a true fact. And my family, it's high time we demand that they apologize to Megan for the pain that they've caused her. They must apologize and say that they're sorry. And my family, also never forget what Megan said that Harry told her that a senior member of the royal family had expressed concerns into what color of skin Archie would have. The family, the racism is clearly just there for everyone to see. The racism that Megan endured. The fact that even despite her fleeing the Yuki, still they keep on hounding her as if she was a slave. Megan ain't no slave, my family. And it's high time they stop abusing Megan harassing her and also attacking her my family. Sadly, you won't see this being discussed in newsrooms in the UK. You won't ever ever see this headline being discussed. But my family, we will discuss it. You know? Clearly, the royal family are just so full of racism. And it's high time, the monarchy that clearly represents white supremacy is abolished once and for all. I believe that I've said enough clearly. Harry and Meghan right once again about the racism inside the royal household. Harry and Meghan were 100% right. Stay tuned on next video. Love you always and forever. We condemn racism in all its forms, my family. We condemn racism in all its forms. Sadly, clearly, we won't hear those words coming out from Prince William. We're discussing the racism that Megan endured. My family, we must keep on demanding that apology from William, from Charles, from Kate Camilla. You know, we must keep demanding and calling for it, my family, because they wronged Megan. They caused Megan so much pain and they wronged her. You know, for the first time ever, the royal family has to face accountability for the pain that they have caused to Megan. Charles, William, Kate Camilla, they have to face accountability stay tuned to our next video love you always and forever hello members of the Zesco family tv first of all i want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel we don't take it for granted that you support this channel i want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices supporting prince harry and megan showing them love Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.